everybody, welcome back. It's Tosh here. I am here today with my November, I understand it's a little late, but November Ice Cream Beauty bag. Um, unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it. So please stick around for that. We'll jump into it in just a minute. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate and love having you here with me and having your support. It really means the world to me. For those of you that are new here, my name is Tasha, and typically on my channel, I do all things makeup. I do try and do a What's New Wednesday, and I do have a new What's New Wednesday for a concealer coming very, very soon. So stay tuned for that one. And, and then we have hit 50 on the channel. That was my big goal. That was what I was really working towards. Thank you guys so very much. 50 subscribers is a huge thing for me, and I'm super excited about it. And I did say that I would be doing a big giveaway for that. So I am going to get quite a few products together. I'll probably have two different um, giveaways. Um, please, please subscribe so that you know when the giveaways are going to happen. I will have it happen this next week. I'll put it on my Instagram as well. So again, thank you guys all so very much. And without any more talk, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So one of the new things with Ice Cream Beauty, I have gotten their box for quite a long time. It is an indie brand makeup bag. This is what it came in this month. And um, they have just started, or maybe I didn't realize and they've always had it, but they have different levels, just like BoxyCharm. So they have a $15 or $16 one, they have a $25 level, and then I do think that they have a more expensive level. I've always done the 25, and I kind of was getting to the point where I was getting repeat products or not a whole lot of variation with the brands that I was receiving. So I actually canceled that one and I went and I got the bag. So the bag is, this is the first month that I've actually, re actually received the bag. It is $15, $16 with tax and everything else. Um, and you are supposed to get quite a few products. I am gonna go ahead and pull these out. They do send a little card with it. And so this is the card and this is for the month of November. It's Ice Cream Beauty bag. It will have the products listed on here. It doesn't have a whole lot about the products, but it does tell you the price. And so we're gonna go through these products really quickly. I do like the bag a ton better than I liked the box for the value. So the first thing that I have right here is from Bella Pierre, nope, 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 Bell, Bay Bella, sorry, Bay Bella Lip Liner. It is retail value $3, so it is more of a drugstore price. I really don't know this brand. I'm just taking off some of the packaging here. Um, it does come, it's a wooden pencil. It comes with a plastic cap that does not stay on very well because I went like this and it flew across the room. <laughs> this is the color and it looks like a beautiful color. Let's go ahead and swatch it on my hand. And that is a very browny um, color. I was thinking it would be more of a pink color. In person, it is much more of a brown color. It is not as creamy as some lip liners that I have used in the past, but it is not bad. And with that little bit of, of drawing on my hand, it has already worn down the tip. So it does seem like one you would use pretty fast, but for $3, absolutely we'll try it out. We'll see how that lasts. The next product I have in here is the Bella Pierre Super Gloss, retail value $18. This is, it looks like Leaping Bunny certified, so it is cruelty free. Um, it says with lips slightly parted, draw lip outline with applicator, then fill in lips. I think that's kind of pretty self-explanatory, but okay. Um, let's look, open it up. I'm hoping that that is the color there. It is in the color Every Day, and that is pretty, but much more metallic than I expected. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you. There is the applicator. It is just a normal gloss applicator. I am gonna swatch it right next to this lip liner. I'm gonna swatch it again, so maybe I didn't have a lot of product on there. So I'm swatching it right next to the lip liner. Oh, it smells like cake batter. It does smell like cake batter. It is a pretty color, but it is very metallic. I tend to be not a metallic kind of person. I don't know why. My grandmother always used to wear these frosted lip colors often, and I didn't really like them when I was younger, and so that's what this kind of reminds me of. I know that's terrible. I'm so sorry, Graham. I'm so sorry. At any rate, 
not the biggest fan, but I do like the color. We'll certainly try it and see. It does have a very nice smell. I do like that. So, so far we're two products in and they're pretty good. The next product that I have in here, we're just pulling it out of the bag, is a Marabella Eye. And so this was one of my complaints with the box. I felt like I got quite a bit of the Marabella and I don't know that product line very well and it is just okay. It's not something that is like this most amazing brand. Um, it is gluten-free, it is um, lead-free and paraben-free, which I do appreciate, don't get me wrong. However, I would have liked to see more variety in the box. So like this, we have several different brands already. In the big box, I would get two or three products from the same brand, typically this one. Um, this is actually a Marabella Eye Crayon, and it is in the color Jade. Ooh! <laughs> So that is that color. It's that nice, beautiful green jade color. And it is one of those um, crayons that you draw on the eye. I am gonna go ahead and swatch it there. And that is actually really pretty. I would be interested to see how that blends out. There isn't a smell to it. And it is one of those ones that you do have to sharpen. Um, but otherwise, I do really like the packaging. The color is beautiful. I am gonna just kind of try and Wow, that sets pretty quickly because I'm having a hard time blending that out already. So remember that. But with a little bit of pressure, so blend it out right away. Don't let it set. It does blend out pretty well. And look at that color. That is really pretty. That is kind of beautiful. Hmm, okay. And then the very last product that I have, and so the, the this crayon is worth $20. Again, another thing that I thought with the box, the Marabella products are typically high priced. Um, again, not sure that they're worth that, but it is really nice, don't get me wrong. And then the last thing I have is actually a palette, a whole entire palette in a $15 box. The palette is by Beauty Creations. It is the Emerald Palette. Retail value is 12. It is cruelty free, which I appreciate. It does have the warning, not tested on animals. Discontinue use if irritation occurs. I think that's probably standard, although just be careful of the glitters in here if that's on there. And that is the colors. Here is a mirror there, I won't blind you guys. So it is nice. It is a cardboard um, packaging. The packaging doesn't seem super, super expensive per se, but it is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. And let's go ahead and swatch a couple. So I am going to swatch this. This is a metallic shade right there, kind of a metallic red. Um, and we're going to swatch it right here. And that's quite beautiful. That was one swatch right there. Really, really nice. Let's do a um, this kind of apricot-y color. This is a matte. And we're going to go ahead and swatch it right underneath. That one is pretty, but definitely one that you will have to build for sure. Let's do this kind of a black color. It's more like a navy black or a gray black. So I'm gonna do it, swatch it right underneath everything. And that one is a green color actually, not navy and not black. It's more of that jade color, which would go really well with this. And so will all of the colors in this palette. Um, so really, really pretty. There are several metallics here. Um, and then quite a few mattes in the rest of the palette. So definitely something that we'll try to create a look with, which I think will be beautiful. And that is my box for, or my bag for Ice Cream Beauty for the month of November. Um, I actually really, really enjoyed it. I think it was really a great value for someone that's looking for kind of a less expensive indie or off-brand, not mainstream brand makeup. This is a great box. You get quite a few things for the price. Um, it always can, comes in a cute mailer and has a thank you card in it, which I appreciate. So that is my bag for the month of November. Let me know what you guys think about this bag. I have, has anyone gotten Ice Cream Beauty, the bag or the box before? What do y'all think? Drop me a line again. Thank you for hitting 50, I love it. We'll do the next video will be my giveaway video and I'll kind of talk about everything and set it all up. So I'm super excited about that, I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I loved having you here with me. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.